DJ Sly, D, DJ Sly, Tay, 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 DJ Sly, D, DJ. What's up, bro? What up, what up, Nick? How you feeling, man? Shit, I'm on time. <laughs> Hey, man, you already know, man, we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. Before we get started, man, we got to give some love to our sponsors, Bel Air. We appreciate them being the sponsor of the 2021 Convo. Make sure you head to your favorite liquor store, grab your favorite bottle of Bel Air, and make sure that you drink responsibly. Also, I need y'all to go follow at MyJetDoc. It's a uh, virtual urgent care app connecting users with licensed medical professionals instantly, no waiting room, no insurance, and you can save up to 85% off of RX. Go check it out. Right now, 2021 Convo live and direct. We got my partner, Al, Rick, James. What up, what up, what up, man? What up? What's good? Man, chill it, chill it, man. Today it's all about you, superstar. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. Man, before we get, I always like to uh, start with people's childhood, man. I want you to go ahead first, tell everybody where you're from. Yeah, I was so I was um, born and raised in uh, Montego Bay, Jamaica, out of this community called South Spring. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, it's like right behind the tourist attractions, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's it's the it's the slums. It's the ghetto ghetto. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. Like dirt roads and zinc, like zinc projects. And y'all seen um Belly and y'all seen um uh Welcome to Jam Rock. You know what I'm saying? Y'all seen them. That's where I was from. I'm from I'm from Jamaica. That's that's dope. That's dope, man. How was life growing up in Montego Bay? Uh childhood life. Uh, it's all right. You know, I went, you know, during my childhood life, I went to school, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the life was rough, you know, mama made sure it happened, father made sure it happened, but, you know, Jamaica really ain't got nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's a third world country in the islands, you know what I'm saying? So, the the, the, the lifestyle that kids had here is totally different, you know what I'm saying? Like, we had to, like, work, work for it, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. What was some of the music being played in the household? I, you know, they playing that old school stuff, man. I mean, like, Barry's Hammonds and Bob and Peter Tosh and uh, Jimmy Cliff. Uh, these these artists around these times that were getting played, you know what I'm saying? This is when music was started, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, shooting out, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it come from the island anyway. All this music come from the island. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the origin of it, it come from the island. Yeah, I went I I went to Montego Bay, man. One of my uh partners, a friend of mine, had got married out there. And, yeah. Uh, it was it was very interesting, you know what I'm saying? Because the whole thing, the hotel I was staying at, it was a house across the street from the hotel and it had no windows, you know what I'm saying? And people <laughs> actually were living in the joint, bro. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It tripped me out because you don't really see that in the States. You know what I mean? Oh uh, Yeah, man. Lifestyle different down there, man. You know? Yeah. And then I woke up. It was like 7 in the morning. And it's right. fucking hot as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's a different kind of heat out there, man. Yeah. Yeah, the climate different, you know what I'm saying? It's the tropics. So, you know, the climate different, man. So, yeah. yeah. So how old would you say you was when you decided to go ahead and take music seriously? Man, to be honest, man, um, I always liked music, right? Growing up, it was a vibe. Like, it was part of the culture. Like, we going out, dancing and all that. But, uh... I never really started taking it serious until um like two years ago, man, when I, I've been put in a few situations and they was like, yo, you kind of like a game changer because you're different. You feel what I'm saying? Like the way you come in, like you like you like dance all, but you like rap a little bit in between, like you know that Akon run and you know the uh 
the uh white cliff run and all that so they're like yo it's time so i just see it. i see a i see a i see a opening i see a market for it so i'm like shit I'm finna take it yeah you definitely got a very unique sound you know what i'm saying like uh, eventually the game is definitely going to turn back to like the island music and, and the reggae because you really don't hear a lot of it in the club you know what i'm saying yeah. But you you definitely that chosen one, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm working, man. I'm working. God, yeah. you know, God willing, man. You feel me? Yeah, because I, I was listening to some of your uh, stuff on YouTube, and I, and I was amazed. I really was amazed. I was like, damn. Like, ain't nobody recognized him yet? Yeah, we working. You know, it's a process. You know, like, it ain't, I, I know that it ain't going to happen overnight. You feel me? It's yeah. taking time. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you recognize me. And that's important because, you know what I'm saying, you part of the process. So, you know, eventually they're going to come, and I understand that, so I'm going to keep working. Yeah. Who would you say inspires you to do music? Shit, y'all already know, man, my boy Juby Kane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, free Juby Kane. Free, hey, free Juby, Kane, man. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Free, man. Free Juby, man. He pushed me, though. Yeah, there have been times I've been in the booth, you know what I'm saying? He come in there and push me. So, yeah, that's my number one is inspiration. It's him. That's dope. Yeah. Man, Shout out had, to the fan. Free Juby. If you had three artists to work with, who would them three artists be and why? Man, I ain't even going to lie, bro. The brother, I, when I come in the game, I'm going to keep it real. You feel me? Like, I'm going to keep it all the way real, bro. I really don't want to work with i really want to work with people right now but i'm just gonna show people my talent right now that's what i'm mostly focused on because the game the way the game is like niggas is not finna come start working with me until i start making noise you feel me so i'm gonna start making my noise i'm gonna do the process i'm gonna make my noise and then niggas gonna come start working with me but to be honest right now number one on my list would be vibes cartel you know what i'm saying i do something with him off the rip you know what I'm saying? That's probably about the only one in Jamaica that I do something with right now. And uh over here, man, I like, I like, I like all I like a lot of artists, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. So I'm just gonna, you know, let God just play it out, man. Whoever I work with, I work with, man. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. What are what are you bumping right now? If I was to hop in your car with you right now, what would we what would be playing? Man, I'm playing everything, man. All of them hits different. I'm playing lifestyle, not normal. I'm playing uh, Get Back There for the females. I'm playing Anything You Want for the females. I'm playing that uh, I'm playing that Trap 1017, Juby Kane, Fujiano. You know, I'm playing that Millie. We lit. I'm playing our own music because, <laughs> like, yeah. What's the vibe like for you when you get ready to go into the booth to create your music? Man, to be honest with you, brother, like, my old thought process of music is like the beat got to be hit potential. Like if it ain't hit potential, I'm not getting paid for it. I'm not purchasing it and I'm not buying it. You feel me? So I listen to the beat and I vibe out and I catch the key and I just go to the studio and just create something that I did or like a part of my life or something that I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how my music is. You feel me? Like, I just go to the studio and create, you know what I'm saying? But it got to be authentic, though. I'm not just going to be on there talking about uh, shooting niggas and all of that. And I, I, I'm a vibey writer. I like good music. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing out good music. Like, I'm not going to push out bad energy. You feel me? Yeah. Even if I don't did it in my life. I've been in prison 10 years. And I'm not, I'm not never, ever saying in my prison, in my music, you know, I'm called a nigga bad and... You know what I'm saying? I'm pushing out good music. Like, yeah. you feel me? That's the energy I'm trying to create. The positive energy. I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I like that, bro. I like that. Your top three producers that you fuck with when it comes time to get in the lab. Who you going to shop with? Shit, in Jamaica, I'm going to shop with my boy Drake Crazy. Over here in Atlanta, I'm going to shop with my boy Twisted Genius. And I got a few little producers that, you know what I'm saying, pop up here and there, like Believe ATL and stuff like that. Okay, okay, okay. So, man, what what else do you want to get out of this game as, as you move up in the industry? You know, a lot of people, they get in the game, 
they want to start their own label, they want to sign artists, maybe create a clothing line or brand, or even acting. What else is it that you want to do? Is any of those on your plate? I mean, I mean, to be honest, like me and my brother got the label already going, so we got that. And as an artist, you're gonna have to have um merchandise because you know that's part of your revenue, you know, merchandise, concerts, and all that stuff. So I'm you're gonna have to sell merchandise. So that's just part of the game. Like you said, yeah, we got to do that. And you know what I'm saying? So I yeah, I do have plans on um expanding outside of music. So I do have merchandise online right now that people can go buy. And uh I'm signed to um Trap Monster label, but I'm also the uh the vice president. You feel me? Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, Where can they so, get the merch at? You said you got it online. You got a plug. Yeah, so the merch, you know, they can they can find a link in my bio. Just click link in my bio, alrickjames.com. You can go on there and check out my videos, music, merchandise. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Go grab y'all some merch, man, and make sure when you hit it, make sure you tag them and let them know that you're showing that support. You know what I'm talking about? How do you feel about social media? You know, we got this social media platform out here that artists didn't have a long time ago. Are you a fan of it? Yeah, most definitely I'm a fan of it because I can reach people just from, you know, being here in Atlanta. You know, I'm, I can reach, you know. Uh, it's new age, man. It's, you know, things going to get more technology, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm a fan of it to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How is it hard for an artist to stand out in Atlanta? Because, you know, it seems like it's a million artists in <laughs> Georgia and they're all doing music. Yeah. Yeah, it's most definitely um hard to stand out, especially for the um the people that just come in. You know what I'm saying? Like you just gotta you just gotta keep working and be consistent with it and eventually you're gonna build leverage. That's just common and common sense and logic. But some people don't understand though, like, you know, so it, yeah, if you do the right things, it's you will stand out. But if you don't, you know, you know, you you're not gonna stand out. <laughs> so you just gotta do the right things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. How was life for you through the pandemic, man? Was you still going and recording or did you just sort of like fall back from the game? Bro, I'm not even gonna lie. So the uh the pandemic started hitting like March uh 2020, March, you know what I'm saying? Things started getting shut down. Uh so I was in I was in jail at that time. I had a probation violation, so I had to go do a little three months real quick. So um when I came out. It was uh just starting to open back, opening back up and things like that. So I've been ripping and running since. It's like it ain't been no pandemic. Like I just just protect myself a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I wash my hands, mask up. You know, but it's like to be honest, like I'm I thank Allah, man, because it's like I see people dying and people affecting it, but it really didn't affect me at all. Yeah, I just kept moving. Yeah. What what keeps you going as an artist, man? Because you know a lot of artists out here, y'all always getting told no about y'all music. Well, yeah. how is it to just keep going? Because like I don't know me personally, I'm not an artist. But if I was an artist, I probably would just give up. Probably after the sixth person told me no. And you remember when you remember when you went to Jamaica and you said you saw them houses that people were living out of and with, without windows. Yeah, that's because. Of, that's because they started, they bought the land and started to build on it. But, you know, the economy there is not so, you know, great. So they can just use what money they have to build on them houses until they eventually finish it, right? right. So me, as an artist, and nigga, I, you know how much money I don't invest in studio time, videos, and what you think? You think I'm going to stop? I want it back. So that's how I look at it. You know, I don't put, we don't put a lot of money into this projects, videos, traveling, recording, mixing, mastering, all of that. So I want, I want it back. You got to keep going. It's an investment. You feel me? It's an, it's an investment. I want it all back. <laughs> that's my motivation. <laughs> you said a lot of key things there. A lot of people don't really understand what it takes to be an artist. You said a lot of key things. It takes money. Y'all have spent a lot of money. Some people... Yeah. You just wake up and you just become famous without spending no money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like I, I don't, I don't understand that method because being an artist is, it's a business. It's like oh, you're your own Footlocker. You're your yep. own 
pennies, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I don't get that, but y'all y'all got it right, man. The more you put in, the more you're going to get out of it. So you definitely got the right strategy, you know what I'm saying? And I like that. What are you working on right now as we speak? All right, now I got um got a few videos, got two videos. Actually, I start one tomorrow and then um I'm going out west in Cali to finish another one. So right now I got a lot of songs recorded. So I'm just really like still recording and then um shooting videos when I'm not doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Can we expect the EP anytime soon? And do you have a name for one? Nah, no EP. I'm just gonna drop singles for now for the rest of the year. For the rest of the year. That's dope. Yeah. What about any any mixtapes maybe with a couple nah. of DJs? Nah. Singles. I'm just gonna drop singles and build my own fan base and my audience. And then I can give them something for them to sit down with. But right now, I'm just going, you know, with the way the industry going right now, I'm just dropping singles because that's what, that's what really going right now if you're not popping. Yeah. Well, you, te you teasing us, boy. You don't want to give us that work, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to come off that work and give us that work, boy. Yeah. It ain't time yet, man. It ain't time yet. <laughs> I got it, though. I got it. Most definitely, I got it. But I, you just, like I said, man, it's... It's everything is all about timing and strategizing the right thing. You know, I I'm just I don't see myself dropping an album right now, even though I got the songs. I, I'm just I'm just gonna keep building my fan base. Yeah. Did you ever think when you were younger that you were gonna be an artist? Hell nah. <laughs> I always knew I always knew though, I always knew though that I was gonna be like like a figure, but not musical artist. Hell nah. Okay, okay. Have you ever played any musical instruments? No, nope, not like that. Okay. No, not that I can think of, man. What about choir? Have you ever been in the choir? None of that. None of that. Wow. Damn, boy. God damn. I, I'm asking that because when I listen to your music, it's just like it's there. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah. It's crazy. You ain't never been in the choir and none of that? You lying, nah, bro. Not just being, like I said in the beginning of my interview, just being around, you know, Jamaica is a musical country. Like, that's where everything comes from. Like, you know, like, hip-hop started from, you know, an immigrant that came from Jamaica and went to New York. You know what I'm saying? So, we, like, it's a cultural thing for us. Like, growing up, like, music was played in the house. Pops had the big-ass speakers with the turntables, and he was going in, playing music. We had parties on the side of the street. We had clubs. We had big ass speakers on top of cars. Like <laughs> it's a, you know what's going on. You don't been to the island before, so man. One thing about the island, you gonna have a good time. Y'all, y'all like y'all. Everybody's friendly, man. Like everybody yeah. can welcome you, and it's just a, a great vibe, bro. I didn't really feel no negative energy out there, man. And the damn water is fucking clear as hell. <laughs> y'all yeah. got, got the best water in the world, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, our rivers, our rivers better than the beaches over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit tripped me out. When I got in there, I looked down, I was like, damn, this shit is like clear as hell, man. So it's, it's amazing, man. Folks, if y'all never been to the islands, man, you got to get you a passport and plan your trip to the islands for real. Get the experience. The food too, bro. The food was great. The food was great. The best food in the world is island food to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it was one of them uh, all-inclusive trips I went on. So everything was paid and you could eat and drink as much as you want. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So you know I took advantage of that. All right, man. I got three more questions I'm going get, to get asked you before I let you go. The first one. I don't know if you do things like this, but we always ask our guests this question. If you had the opportunity to date anybody for a publicity stunt, who would the individual be? <laughs> oh, man, brother. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> man, look, though. Look, I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. I can't even, I can't even do it, bro. I can't. You can't do it. I'm too, I'm too like, I, I just... I can't... I, 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 I just, it's just, I'm authentic with it, man. You feel me? Then I got a wife, so 
Yeah, yeah. Ain't none of that. Oh, snaps. Number two. <laughs> what is Al Rick James' favorite dish? What do you enjoy eating the most? Goat meat and lamb and rice. Goat meat, lamb, or rice. Wow. Yeah, man. But I eat rice like on a daily basis, man. That shit crazy. Yeah. Can you, can you cook? Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's one thing, too. I don't know anybody that come from the islands that can't cook. Everybody that come from the hey. islands can't cook, bro. That's yeah. <laughs> that's why I say the lifestyle, are like, growing up, we had to cook. <laughs> you feel me? See, I ain't, I ain't, we ain't have to. See? Yeah. See? We had to cook. My mama had to come home to dinner. She ain't gonna come home and cook. You wow. feel me? Our daddy, we had we, we was old enough, we had to cook because they went out and worked. They had to we had to make sure food was ready for them when they came home. Yeah. Wow. Damn. That's really y'all paying attention. Y'all paying attention out here? <laughs> <laughs> some people we some we, some of us don't realize how good we got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't, man. Yeah. Number three, what is your favorite designer of choice? I like Versace, man. Yeah, Versace. Okay. I like that Versace, baby. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. I ain't mad at that. No doubt about it, man. Al Rick James, man, we appreciate you getting on the 2021 Convo with us. Before we let you go, I want you to throw out all your platforms so everybody can go and follow you. Yo, yo, yo. My name is Al Rick James. I'm on all social media platforms. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram as Al Rick James. You know what I'm saying? I'm the second Rick James. Got a number one. Um, I got a uh, single going on right now called Anything You Want. Y'all go check it out, man. All right, man. There you go, man. Hey, bro, we wish you mad success in all your endeavors. And we here, man. This is what we doing. We build relationships and we connecting. So we got this relationship. We're going to keep building and we rocking with you, bro. Don't stop. Right, bro. Don't, don't stop that. on us, okay? All right, bro. I appreciate it. All right, man. Salute. DJ Slide, DJ Slide, DJ Slide, DJ Slide.